Good day grade eights and welcome to Tuma Mina teaching. My name is Lionel and I will guide you through this series of lessons for natural sciences term three. We have a lot of work to do so let's get started. Grade eights, have you ever touched a door handle and felt a little shock? Or rubbed a balloon to your hair and watched it stick to a wall? That is static electricity in action. Static electricity is a buildup of electric charge that stays in one place, usually on the surface of an object. It doesn't flow like the electricity in wires. Let's go a little deeper. All matter is made up of atoms, tiny particles with even smaller parts. Atoms have a nucleus with positive protons and neutral neutrons surrounded by negative electrons. In reality, an atom will look like this. However, your textbook will portray a simpler version that will look like this. Protons and neutrons always stay in an atom, but electrons can move from one atom to another. When electrons move from one object to another, that object becomes negatively charged. The object where the electrons moved away from will now be positively charged, since there are more protons after some of the electrons moved to the other object. There are three main ways that objects can get charged. The one we see the most is friction. Friction transfers the electrons between objects when they rub against each other. When two different materials like a plastic ruler and a piece of cloth rub against each other, the electrons, the tiny particles with a negative charge, can move from one object to the other. The object that gains extra electrons becomes negatively charged. The object that loses electrons becomes positively charged. These charges are invisible but cause real effects, like making your hair stand up. So what happens when objects are charged? Let's discuss this. Your teacher will pause the video to give you a chance to talk to your classmates. In 3, 2, 1... Opposite charges attract each other, while charges that are the same repel each other. Positive and negative charges will be attracted to one another. That's why a negatively charged balloon can stick to a wall if the wall is slightly positively charged. However, if there are two objects that are both negatively charged, they will push away from each other. We say they repel each other. The same will happen if they are both positively charged. Let's look at an example from earlier with a plastic ruler and a cloth, but adding a different element. When we rub the ruler with a cloth, electrons moved from the cloth onto the ruler. Now, watch what happens when we bring the ruler close to these tiny bits of paper. This shows us that opposite charges attract each other. They jump up and stick to it, just like magic. But it's not magic, it's static electricity. Now we've seen how opposite charges attract. But what about same charges? Let's try something out. Here are two inflatable balloons. Let's rub them both on the same cloth to give them the same type of charge. Watch closely what happens when we bring them close to each other. They push away. That's because the same charges repel. So remember grade eights, positive and positive charges repel. Negative and negative charges also repel. But positive and negative charges attract each other. Sometimes the charge gets released. 
This is called a discharge. It can be small or huge. A spark, when you touch something, is a small discharge. But a lightning bolt during a thunderstorm is a massive natural discharge of static electricity. Inside a storm cloud, there's a lot of movement. Tiny bits of ice and water rub against each other. This creates friction, just like when we rub the balloon or the ruler. As a result, electrons build up at the bottom of the cloud. The ground below becomes positively charged. Eventually, the different charges between the cloud and the ground is so strong that a massive spark happens. And that is what we call lightning. Let's talk about staying safe during a thunderstorm, especially when there's a risk of static electricity and lightning. Remember to go inside as soon as you hear thunder or see lightning. Stay indoors for at least 30 minutes after the last sound of thunder. Never stand under a tree during a thunderstorm. Stay away from metal fences or poles. Don't use your electronics, outlets or corded phones. Rather go indoors during a storm. When you are not close to home, find a building or drive in a car with a hard rooftop. Don't seek shelter in dugouts, sheds, picnic shelters, pavilions or other small open structures. Refrain from swimming or being close to water. And lastly, grade aids, try not to stand near windows during a storm. For interest's sake, do you know how to work out how far lightning is? To guess how far away lightning is, count how many seconds pass from when you see the lightning to when you hear the thunder. Then divide that number by three to get the distance in kilometers. So for example, if you count six seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, the lightning is about two kilometers away. Let's do an activity together. Answer the following questions and let's see if you can remember all the answers. Your teacher will pause this video to give you time to answer the questions. If you are watching from home, pause the video to give yourself time to answer the questions. So did you get that question right? For the first question, an atom with a positive charge is known as a proton. An atom with a negative charge is known as an electron. An atom with a neutral charge is called a neutron. Let's look at the second question. Objects attract each other by moving closer to one another. Great job! Let's see about question number three. I'm sure you got this one right. They repel each other by moving away from one another. So now for the final question. Static electricity is what causes shocks, sparks and hair to stand up. Great job, you have done very well. And just like that, we've reached the end of this lesson. Well done on completing all the questions. Next time we will do energy transfer in electrical systems. If you want to test your knowledge, follow the link in the description to do a self-marking quiz. See you soon. Bye.